And a bobble with Montgomery almost put the ball on the ground. The two best offensive lines they'll see this year. Second and ten. Goff first throw with this year, but it is a physical group. Third down and ten, and that's number two. He's playing soft coverage, however, and so Khalif Raymond. Montgomery gets it, has a little bit of space, and takes it inside the 35 for seven. They, they can certainly do some good things. Here's Montgomery again. Ran into an offensive lineman and ends up with no gain as Micah Parsons makes his first tackle of the night. Talk about Micah Parsons and all that he's able to do as a pass rusher. Uh, he's just as effective in the run game. He is a tough player, and they're going to move him around a lot tonight. He's going to be playing off ball across the board. They do hand to Montgomery, and he picks it up. Good patience by David Montgomery. He hesitated, let that hole open up, and gets 11 on third and three. Yeah, typically when you have to stop like Montgomery did it in the hole, it's hard then to pick up this yardage. But you're going to see Jonah Jackson. He's the one who's able to get on Damone Clark. And he's he's essentially the one that allows him then to pick up the first down in the lineup for the first time tonight. And he does a lot of this. It's off his hand. Here's Gibbs. Long way to go. Looked like the knee went down and a flag flies late. Illegal block in the back. Offense number 73. The penalty is declined. Down. Four interceptions last week and one early here tonight. As they hand to Gibbs. Jameer Gibbs, forward progress to the 45. That's it. Game for Jordan Lewis, second and four. Gibbs, Parsons. Micah Parsons gets through in a loss of four. Cowboys needed that. Well, Michael Parsons is, <laughs> I mean, he's got cat-like quickness. In his ability, you know, Jonah Jackson's going to come off the ball, the left guard. He's going to block him. Oh, no, he's not. And you see it over and over when you watch Micah, whether it's him in run in the run game, like he does here, or even when he's rushing the passer. Linemen think they've got him, and then he's nowhere to be found. And he's a fine prospect. He's had a great rookie year. Montgomery gets dumped. Downfield to make that stop, and you never know where you're going to find number 11 for Dallas. You know, what a chess piece for Dan Quinn. And just, you know, he excels no matter where you put him. So he's not limited. And with his speed and quickness and power, I mean, he's a coach's dream. And the plays that he's been making really ever since he came into this league, he leads the league in quarterback pressures. And he is just a phenomenal talent. And you think back to that draft, the Cowboys were looking for a corner this year. Eight interceptions, five of which he's returned for touchdowns. This screen is intercepted. Many points, and they get the football here at the 20. Jameer Gibbs in the backfield. He gets it, tries the right side. And he's going to get eight, maybe nine. First down at the 30. Gibbs on the carry. Nice move in the hole, and he's got another first down for the Lions. 11 yards for Jameer Gibbs. Yeah, really good job up front by this offensive line and the movement then that they're able to get. You're going to see this inside zone play that Gibbs, I mean, he's got a good lane and he hits it. Their ability to run the football. On first down, here he is again. Cuts back. Turns on the Jets and sets up first and goal. Boy, when he sees some daylight and he hits the gas pedal, he can go. 17 yards for Gibbs. Yeah, he's definitely the home run threat. And, you know, he's averaging almost six yards a carry coming into this game. Look at the movement. Frank Ragnow, he's up the field. He seals everything off, gives him a clean lane right up the gut. Gibbs stays in. Laporta made a good block on that play as well. 17 yards. Boy, what a change of events after the fumble by C.D. Lamb. Gibbs is brought down by Lawrence. They're going to hand to Gibbs. And he's not going to get there. Wilson made that tackle. The clock to get guys set. Second down and four, and they run it. 
And do not get the first down. A yard short is Jameer Gibbs, a gain of three. And make it six. Interception and a stop on downs when they went for it on fourth and goal. Here's Montgomery, and there's Donovan Wilson up to make the stop. They try it again, and Montgomery able to break loose. Montgomery out of bounds inside Dallas territory in a carry of 21. Well, they have created some running lanes, and when they have, they've been able to hit it. And Jameson Williams, number nine, out there on the right side, wide receiver, you know, he gets involved and he helps out. As he's helping block out there on his miss, but uh, he's shown some real improvement as the year's gone along. Why not stick with Montgomery? Cowboys up to make the stop at the 45. They are riding their two running backs tonight. So a lot coming up for the Lions. Not satisfied with just winning their first divisional title. Underneath center, go play action. He hands to Gibbs. It's going to be fourth down. Done a nice job in this game as far as mixing things up. But you go shotgun here on third and short. Come under center and at least give the threat of play action. I thought they would take a shot. See those two going at it. They have been all night. Second and three. Full head of steam for Gibbs. He's got a first down and covers up. Knocked down at the 21 with a nine-yard gain. Yeah, you called it, Joe. That's really good work by Jameer Gibbs, uh, the rookie that, you know, he's running tough. And we mentioned the speed that he has. That, you know, he runs a 4-3-40, so he's explosive. But you're going to see at the end of this play, how he protects the football right when there's about to be contact made. You know, he gets both both hands on the ball, secures it. Seven to go, third quarter. Pressure by Clark, and there's Parsons. They come together on the handoff, a loss of three. Met at Jameer Gibbs. <laughs> Well, you're going to see Micah Parsons. He works through two guys. He gets Sam Laporta out of the way, and then Glasgow, he's coming across. He's going to try to kick him out. They've tried to kick him out a couple times, and it hadn't matter if it's time to throw the football. Montgomery to the five. Possess the football. Now, it's, now they just have to finish. Here's Montgomery. It's third down. Montgomery. He's got it. Touchdown, Detroit. The veteran center, Frank Ragnow, with a good block and a three-yard touchdown for Montgomery, his 12th touchdown carry of the season. Yeah, Frank Ragno, the Pro Bowl center, having a great year. Watch him 77 as he comes up and then picks off. The linebacker, the only guy who really has a chance to try to make a play, he's trying to fill the hole, and it's Marquise Bell, but Ragno. Seven minutes, 26 seconds. The Lions go 13 plays, 74 yards, and on the road, looking for win number 12 on the year. Even though this is his first year in the National Football League, according to the Elias Sports Bureau, here's Gibbs, able to break loose. And Jameer Gibbs with a flag down back near the line of scrimmage. Holding. Offense, 482. 10 yard penalty. Still first down. Well, here's a look at it because, man, there was a, a nice hole there. Yeah, he's got a hold of that shoulder pad. You see it. Tonight, first down and 15 for the Lions as they hand it Gibbs. Broke one tackle. Odigi Zuwa couldn't bring down Gibbs. What a play by Goff. Here's Gibbs, left side. Third down and three. Protection, Gibbs incomplete. Fourth down. And you would think on the road in a tie game. Go fourth quarter, second and six. There's Montgomery. Parsons with the tackle. Gain of one. Two seed, and they have an outside shot at the number one seed. Goff over the middle. Pass is caught by Laporta. We'd see much more of him, but Goff, he's got one-on-one. -on -one. Just did. They clocked the ball after the catch by Laporta, and now he's got... Goff gets rid of it. What a game. Onside kick try is handled by... ...game for the Lions, who have a home date against the Vikings next week. Yeah, this will be a tough one for them.
You know, the Cowboys will walk out of this stadium feeling relieved that they were able to get a victory, while the Detroit Lions, this is going to be a hard one for them.